Keith Silverstein provides the iconic voice of Torbjorn in Overwatch. <laughs> Hammer time! But it's quite possible you've heard him before in one of his many other roles, but maybe you're not quite sure where. As well as voicing the Overwatch engineer, Keith is an incredibly accomplished voice actor who's played characters in everything from Skyrim to Batman, as well as countless roles in anime TV shows and movies. So let's find out where you can find some of his other work. I am the absolute peak of a pyramid that includes every living organism on this world! Defying me! Yeah, means... yeah, I got it, I got it. It's raining out, so let's get this over with. <laughs> He's voiced characters in a lot of video games over the years, including Shen in League of Legends. Our wills align. It must be done. He also plays a ton of characters in Skyrim, so if you've ever played the game, you've almost certainly met a few of them. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? He's even worked on some other Blizzard games in the past. In Diablo 3, he provided additional voices, while in StarCraft 2, he voices Marcus Cade. Off duty at last. It's good to blow off some steam. He's also had roles in World of Warcraft's Cataclysm and Wrath of the Lich King expansions. But we stand to lose everything if we do not stop fighting and work together! You might also recognize his voice as a couple of characters in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8. You have ignored the Emperor and usurped power. I want you dead! In Batman Arkham Origins, he voices a penguin thug and a hotel employee, but in Arkham Knight, he played Lex Luthor. Mr. Wayne, Lex Luthor calling. Apologies for going via your direct line, but I grow tired of these games. In Hitman Absolution, he voices Dr. Marcus Green, a target in the Death Factory mission. He's also had quite a number of roles in fighting games. For example, in Street Fighter V, he voices the police officer Mahesh and the martial artist Gukun. My purpose is to become stronger and to protect our people as you do. Then in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, he voices Brian Fury. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> he was also Zack in Dead or Alive 5. Oh, this is the place! Yes, indeed. There he is! And he also had a role in Soul Calibur 3 and 4. You seek redemption for your sins. How foolish. He's also had a couple of roles in the Castlevania games, even playing Simon Belmont himself in Castlevania Judgment. The Vampire Killer will cleave your soul! Another one of his more recent roles was in Persona 5, where he played one of the main antagonists. Not that it matters. If you have a complaint, I'm willing to listen. He also played Bash in the Skylanders games. And he's been the voice of Vector the Crocodile in numerous Sonic the Hedgehog games and TV shows. In this modest, some would call tragically small hovel, I, Vector the Detector, will begin my investigation of the case of the missing hammer. Speaking of TV shows, Keith has had an incredible number of roles in English dubs of anime TV series and movies that you might have seen. But rather than me butchering the pronunciations of all of these characters' names, here's a montage of some of their best work. You do the honors, Tattoo! Right! <laughs> Use that shiv of yours to slice them open! I want his guts for garters! You really need to stop pitying those who serve no purpose. King of the Deep, Lord of the Seas! That's me! So, how many of these games, movies and TV shows did you recognize the voice of Torbjorn in? Let me know in the comments and which of Overwatch's other amazing voice actors do you want us to look at next? As always, this is James Fakers saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.